There's a lot of excitement and confusion surrounding the new vaccine, and most of us haven't experienced anything like this in our lifetimes. However, many Iowans who lived through the polio epidemic recall the day the polio vaccine was delivered in the 1950s. This Local 5's Eva Anderson shares they found many parallels. Quarantining, public places shut down, and uncontrollable deaths. Most of us haven't lived through anything like this until this year. But I spoke with two people who survived the polio epidemic, and they say it's bringing back memories of terror. Hear their stories. I just love the old photographs, the different sizes. And Dave Merrill loves the way they feel, too. There's just something to the texture of an old photograph. He just wishes he could forget how he felt. And here's a picture of me in an iron lung. When they were taken. It was horrible. Dave had polio at age seven, and at age 73, he remembers. Like it was yesterday. Half of his body paralyzed. He was put on the infamous iron lung. At one point, the staff thought he'd died. They told my dad I was gone. Carol Duncan's parents were frightened too. I remember my dad burying his head in his hands. That was scary for me. She got polio in 1954 and still has the admission papers from Blank Hospital. Kind of hard to read. A reminder of the times. It was $12 a day. It's a painful blur, but she remembers missing her parents and a visit from the priest. And then he'd say, do you want to go to confession? I said, uh, no. <laughs> what do I have to confess? I'm seven years old in a hospital room. But even without looking at the papers or the photos, this entire year was a painful reminder. It brought back a lot of fear. Fear of loneliness. Yeah. Separation. Yeah. It does bring back those isolation kinds of memories. My parents would come to the window and look in, and that was very similar to now. I have a picture of, of my wife when we hadn't seen our grandkids touching hands with them through the window. But the most recent part of the pandemic triggers a positive memory, one of hope. Just remember the vaccine came out and my mom said that you need to go take this vaccine. Now Carol has a choice. If you were given the opportunity, would you take it? Absolutely. And Dave says he will. I think it's hope for everybody. They both survived polio and they're ready to be on the other side of COVID too. I'm in line. I'm ready to go. Bring it on. I want to thank Carol and Dave for sharing their stories. I also reached out to local hospitals to see if there is a physician who remembers delivering the polio vaccine when it first came out in 1955. They would need to be about 83 years old now to have been a provider at the time, and I wasn't able to find anybody, so I wanted to share this. It's pretty special to me. This is my late grandfather, Dr. Kenneth Anderson. Here he is administering one of the very first polio vaccines in the 1950s when it first came out. Reporting in Des Moines, Eva Anderson, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. Dave also attempted to sign up for a trial of the COVID-19 vaccine, but he didn't get in. So he is looking forward to taking it, but hopes his 98-year-old mother has a chance to take it first.